Alright, hello and welcome to another episode. Uh, this time I'm just going to give you a quick tour through all of these weapons, the misc weapons and the player weapons, starting with the player weapons. Um, so pretty much, there's the Azurin gun, which is just a thing to, you know, blow stuff up, which is cool. So I'm going to spawn a couple of these couches, so I can see so some targets. And there's a specific reason why I did choose couches and not, like, wooden barriers or something, because... So if you have this gun, it destroys props if you shoot them enough. Uh, now there's the hand device, which is actually pretty cool. So bottom down there in the ammo, that's like your charge. So when you left click normally, it'll do this push, which does in fact push things. I want to go get some combines. It's going to disable thinking, but... And yeah, it, it kills things. It also is supposed to move props if I can. There we go. Okay, it'd probably move if it was lighter. But more importantly, it kills people. Now, if you uh, press your secondary button, it'll switch down there. Like if you look at primary, it says push now. Secondary cook brain. Um, pretty much, this is. It shoots out like a beam of energy and will eventually kill them. It doesn't really do anything on props. But. Second is call nearest rings. Uh, that's if you're on rings and then you left click, it will call the rings for you. The other other one is the ring dial menu, which if you left click, it'll bring open this menu and you can enter an address that you want to go to, click dial, and you go there. And that's it for this thing. Oops. Now there's also, uh, there's also the Jaffa dagger. This is pretty self-explanatory, I would think. Pretty much, you stab things, and eventually they will die. It just takes a lot of stabbing, usually. Yeah, that, that was a good amount of stabbing. Now there's the Ori Staff Weapon, which is very similar to the Azurian Gun. There's never really nothing special about it. There is the, uh, this is called Roman's Gun. It is also similar to the Azurian Gun. Now there's the SGFN P90. It's, it's just like a gun. You shoot things with it. Nothing special there. Staff weapon is also similar to those other weapons. I think I've run out of couches, but I don't think I really need to describe what it's like anymore. There is the Wraith Blaster, which is also pretty similar. It's supposed to be a stunner, but I don't think that actually works. No, it just kills things. Alright. Uh, then there is the Wraith Hands. This is actually kind of cool. So if you spawn some enemy, and then if you right click on them, you will like, if you look in the bottom left, you'll see that I'm just getting more health. Uh, that's because I'm draining their life from them, um, and eventually it'll kill them. And you can also just punch them, and that kills them pretty quickly, for punches. Um, and finally, there's this thing, which is actually pretty cool. So if I spawn something here, and you start shooting at me, if you, click, if you click on him once, it'll freeze him for a couple seconds. If you click on him again, it'll just kill him. But it's pretty much, it's, it's, it's a stunner. And also, if I click on one of these people, it'll get all of them. Which is nice. Now that's it for the player weapons. However, there are more. There's these misc weapons, which aren't really weapons. Alright, so... I probably should kill myself so I can clear my inventory or something. Um, no, it's okay. Okay, AGV. This is, uh, I think it's Ancient Gate Virus. Either way, it's the same thing. So if you click on a Stargate, uh, it will make the Stargate unable to dial. Uh, where is... I don't know. Also, I'm gonna get out another one of these items, just because it's useful. I'm gonna get out the gold mobile DHD. Pretty much how you use this, you left click on a Stargate, and it will dial, it will let you dial the Stargate with that menu, which is nice, instead of having to press buttons on here. It's not, it's not like it's hard to press the buttons, I just prefer to use these mobile DHDs and whatnot. What the heck just happened? God, that doesn't make any sense. Also, if you want to get this back, you press the use key, 
and it will give it to you back. There's no reason why that should not have worked. Okay, it doesn't have enough power, is my best guess. Even though I don't think that actually takes any power to dial. Ninety-nine point nine nine eight percent. Okay, this makes no sense. Absolutely no sense. Wait, wow, I'm such an idiot. Yeah, it can't dial because I put the, the gate virus on it. God, wow, I'm so stupid. Yeah, that, that's the whole purpose of this virus, is that it doesn't work, and ideally somebody would do something ridiculously stupid like that. Anyway, other weapons. The Enantec Armband, pretty much what it does, it makes you really strong. Like, it gives you a, it gives you 200 suit, and it also makes you really fast. Like, you can go jumping across mountains like this. It's pretty cool. Uh, also, whoops, not a camera. I'm getting rid of everything. Alright, so now, let's just get like one of these people. You can just mow them down with punches. If you do it right. Fortunately, against shotguns, it doesn't seem to work too well. I wonder why that is. Anyway, uh, what other things are there? There is this jumper remote, which if you spawn a jumper... You can use to make to cloak it or to do other various things with it. Oh, it's cool. There is the Kino remote device. Uh, it has several uses. Let me show you one of them. So here's what they call, what's called a Kino dispenser. If you use quest use key on it, you will get one of those things. Uh, as you see, this if you look down the bottom uh, right, it says primary Kino control. So if you left click, now you get this flying camera ball thing. You can fly around in and, you know, it's pretty cool. As you'll notice, I'm actually gone right now, because it, like, replaces you. Uh, so the Kino is just flying camera ball. Secondary is Stargate dial control. It opens up this menu. If I had the power to dial any of those places, it would. Next one is ring dial control, so as you'll see. So it'll allow me to dial rings, and then just back to Kinos. Um, what else? Er, uh, risk weapons. Okay, life science detector. This is pretty cool too. So, if you just look at, look at it, it shows you a blue dot in the center. That is you. If I spawn, sample him, now there's another life sign. If I spawn, you know, him, then there's other, other life signs. So, it's just, just exactly what it says on the tin is a life signs detector. Malp remote. This is used to control a malp. That's pretty simple. Malps are like these, and they move. They're they're just like reconnaissance vehicles, pretty much. Yeah, when you have the malp remote out, you just control it by pressing W S and D, W S A D. All right, so that's it for that little section. Um, now there is the Knox hands. Uh, so if you left click, you can open this dial menu. If you right click, you can heal this person. It doesn't really help him right now because he's perfectly fine, but that's what it does. Uh, personal shield. If you look at the bar in the on the left, that is your like shield charge level. Uh, when it gets, if you click it before it gets to full, as it's activated, it will go down. But if you wait until it gets to full. It will not go down unless you get hit. Oops, you're not an enemy. You are. I'll give you get somebody better for this job. As you'll see, it's just draining the shield. It's not actually killing me. And uh, ring collar. Oh, also, you know that bar stays there forever. And the ring caller is pretty much just what it says in the bottom right. If you primary, you will call the nearest rings. 
I don't want to go on them, but um, if you secondary, you can open up the dial menu. Not very important. Uh, so then cloaking. So if as it says over here, if you left click, you're now invisible. I'll spawn some of these NPCs to show. You cannot see me. By uninvisible eyes, you can. By become invisible, cannot see me. Well, maybe he can, but he won't shoot at me. Alright, also, when you're in here for too long, you will start to take damage. Which is rather unfortunate. Anyway. Uh, final thing. GDO. So what this is, is you can left click, or you can right click, and let's just use enter a couple of numbers. Like this. Save and exit. Now when this, when there's a Stargate dialed, if you left click, it'll send that code through the Stargate to the other side, whoever's there. It's pretty much like an identification code to let the other people on the other side know who's coming through the Stargate to see whether or not they want to let them through. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.